What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with the top 5 worst Warframes in the game. These Warframes have really bad and outdated kits, especially for the current state of the game. There are a bunch of other Warframes that need reworks, but these 5 need Jesus. Giving them some new augments will not help them because 90% of the augments in the game are band-aid fixes to bad ability design because it's easier to make an augment than to rework a Warframe. So let's start out with number five, Chroma. Some of you may be asking, oh, why Chroma? He does a lot of damage. No, he does not do a lot of damage. He allows your weapons to do damage. And most of this damage is just a base damage multiplier. See, Chroma used to be a really good frame back in the days when the game was a bit younger things were a bit simpler he could tank pretty well because not many people did endurance runs seen threatening enemies so yes he could tank well and he allowed your weapons to do decent amount of damage because we did not have gun arcanes we did not have any of these fancy new tools to improve our damage he was the best eidolon hunter in the game just because of vex armor giving you base damage just so you can run more multipliers on your sniper but before that vex armor was a base damage multiplier it was similar to mirage's eclipse but they changed that because it was too strong but the problem with vex armor is that you have to take damage to your health and shields you have two buffs on vex armor fury and scorn scorn will give you increased armor when you take damage to your shields and fury will give you that increased base damage when you take damage to your health and now that self damage is gone shield gating exists this is a bit trickier to do but there are ways around that you, you can actually run the hema to drain your health so you can get that fury buff for example there we go. We got the damage increase. However, that requires you to remove your primary weapon slot. That's the downside right there. Secondly, his first and fourth ability are just really bad. You shed your armor and this thing has a limited radius that knocks down enemies and helps you get more credits. It does not follow you. It does not attack anything. It is just there. Why is it there? Y yes. And your first ability allows you to breathe fire depending on the element you've selected. So with Elemental Ward, you have different buffs. Cold, heat, toxin, and electricity. The most used one is cold because it gives you that increased armor and reflects bullets. And it's super buggy, allowing you to deal crazy amounts of damage with bullet attractors. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think DE can, can actually fix that. But we'll see. Toxin is used most of the time because it gives you that holster speed and reload speed, which is very, very helpful. Now you may be wondering, what do I mean by his cold elemental ward being super buggy, allowing you to deal crazy amounts of damage with bullet attractors? For example, we replace his Vex armor with Zata's Whisper. But, but why would you do that? It's, it's, it's different. Let me demonstrate. First of all, we're in the cold elements. We have no merciless stacks on our weapon. We go here. We're using the Ignis Wraith. Yeah. And this scales into level cap. By the way, this is a bugged interaction. Just just saying. It's not something that you're just like, oh my god, this is the best thing. No, it's it's a bug interaction. I mean, yeah, if you want to abuse it, go ahead. A lot of people have done it already to easily cheese level cap. This is only achieved when you use a helminth. Just saying. That doesn't make Chroma the best thing ever. No, no, no. This is just this is just because it's using a helminth ability from a different Warframe. All right, here we are at number four, looking at Grendel. Yeah, so Grendel's kit is, is pretty much you eat things so you can use your other abilities, meaning you can't use any of your other three abilities as long as you have enemies within your belly. Here's another catch. While you have enemies in the belly, you drain energy per second. Your other three abilities require a decent amount of energy just so you can use them. DE release an augment so you don't drain energy when you have enemies in your belly, but you drain health instead. But the health and energy drain is still the same. You drain way too much health. You drain way too much energy. You'd have to rely on a helmet ability just to maintain 
your health. You can either use Gloom or Garuda's second ability. It's just not really a good design for a Warframe. And let's not forget, if he eats enemies, he can transform into a ball. In this ball state, he is vulnerable, slow, cannot even move, bullet jump or whatever. His biggest weakness are stairs. His only good ability is his Nourish and Nourish Strike, basically allowing you to give you and your allies a Toxin Elemental Damage Multiplier to your weapons. Think of it like Shock Trooper or Fireball Frenzy, but without an Augment. That's the only good thing about Grendel. His third ability allows you to, to puke out enemies that you've eaten. Yeah. Oh, but, but it deals toxin damage. So what's a good way to fix this Warframe? You eat enemies and you have a counter. Doesn't drain energy, but it has a counter. Meaning, with each ability cast, it consumes an enemy in your belly. Pretty simple. So this will incentivize you to eat more enemies, just so you can cast an ability. It's still a bad thing where you have to eat an enemy for you to use an ability, but it's better than an energy drain or having an augment that drains your health. Second ability can stay as is. The third ability, instead of spitting out enemies, you consume their abilities. You eat a Grenier Lancer or Heavy Gunner, you get a little bit of their bonus, either increased armor, movement speed, health bonus, ability to fire faster, etc., etc. Each enemy gives you a different bonus, while his fourth ability allows you to regurgitate some of these enemies as a poo ball that uh, rolls around and deals damage for you. It could be a really good CC tool where it could stagger, knock down enemies, proc toxin damage all over them instead of you transforming into a ball. This will make Grendel a bit more mobile, a bit more fun to play, and with interesting abilities. That's a little suggestion right there. It's free. You can take it. Oh, well, here we are at number three, looking at hy Hydroid. Hydroid, yeah. See, Hydroid was quite famous for one thing his tentacle swarm yes he is he is a hentai reference as well yes his tentacle swarm uh used an augment that allowed you to drop bonus loot which paired well with necros so you can go out there and farm resources that, that was his only stick did he do anything else no that was literally all he was used for other than giving you bonus loot does it do anything else it cc's enemies and does minuscule amount of damage you can cast it once small radius you get a little kraken thing that pops out of the ground that looks like loki for some reason but you can hold cast it to increase the radius it is the stuff of nightmares now these enemies are not dying anytime soon you would need a ridiculous amount of power strength and armor strip them just to kill them you can cast your first ability to you know have some corrosive damage especially with the augment this was useful back in the day when corrosive fully armor stripped enemies but it doesn't do that anymore he 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 dashes yeah and then there's an augment for the dash as well does it do anything special N no also he he goes into water he's invulnerable while in water he doesn't do anything else except pull in enemies into water Is there any way to fix him? God knows. I, I can't think of anything interesting to fix his abilities. They're just all poo-poo. Oh, you thought I wasn't going to bring this frame up? Well, here he is. At number two, Inaros. I, I, you, you know what's funny? I am well prepared for all the comments <laughs> defending Inaros and Chroma. Because here are some of the comments that people say to defend this Warframe. He is tanky. He can have a lot of health. His augment, this is the word of the day, by the way, allows you to uh, be immune to status effects. He, 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 he cannot die. Let's start off with the first one. He's tanky. He, he is tanky for low-level content. That's absolutely true. But Revenant exists. G Gauss exists. Baruch exists. If you want real tanking. Uh, Gara exists. And let's not forget Rhino, Neja, Nidus. Actually, better tank tanks than Inaros. But of course they have to use abilities. In Inaros, you, like, you don't need to use abilities because all of these abilities are bad. And then you may say, oh, but his fourth ability augment allows you to, and the other argument where his fourth ability augment allows you to resist status effects. Revenant, Gauss, Neja, Rhino, freaking Oberon with his second ability, Trinity with her third ability, Titania with her first ability, Fr Frost with his fourth ability augment, Valkyr when she presses four 
So yeah, just, just just saying. And of course, others may argue, but his first ability is really good. You can actually go in front of enemies, throw your sand, and then they're stunned. Look, you throw sand, and then you can finisher them, and, and it heals you. Excalibur does that. He blinds enemies. Freaking Gara's passive blinds and stuns enemies. His second ability allows you to suck off an enemy. By the way, you can't do anything else while you're in this state. You, you can't do anything else. You're invulnerable, but you can't do anything else. You're draining their life force. S slowly but surely, they will die. You can just give it like, you know, a few minutes. Just to kill that one enemy. By sucking them off. His third ability turns into a sandstorm. You, you can still take damage. You do mediocre damage. Enemies are confused. But guess what? You're still you're still gonna get shot. His fourth ability has you stand still, suck off your own health to give you armor. That that doesn't scale. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'm dead. Also, when I die, I, I, I turn into a coffin. That sucks off enemies. If they if they die, I get my health back. But it, it, it doesn't do much to kill enemies. But the good thing is, your allies can kill these enemies who've been infected by the sand. And you can be resurrected without them even touching your coffin. That passive looks kind of similar, right? To a certain Warframe that does it better, you know? Just, just, just saying. So what are the ways to make Inaros better? I actually made a dedicated video just on an Inaros rework. If you want to see that, you should go check it out. But yeah, this is, this is Inaros. He's just, I, I'm very well prepared for the comments that are going to stay. Oh, you're just not playing him right. You're not modding him right. Blah, 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 blah. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. Just, just for those who are saying, I, I did manage to take Inaros to level cap. Just, just saying. <laughs> and this was done with a very buggy interaction with the Martyr Symbiosis. There are other ways to do this, and that's to just spam Vazarin. Like, no tomorrow. And people have done that. People have spammed Vazarin just to keep Inaros alive. Is it a good way to play the game? Absolutely not. It's gonna give you probably Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. And is it a good game design? <laughs> no. No. Is Inaros a horrible Warframe that needs a rework and it's about time that he does get one? Yes. Okay, here we are at number one. The worst Warframe in the game. Yeah, you, you knew this was coming. Yorelli. Yorelli had to make this Warframe. I am so sorry I did that. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yorelli is uh, one of the latest addition into the trash pile. Her abilities are all about crowd control and somewhat staying alive. Apparently that's what they were designed for. Sea snares, you, th you throw bubbles at enemies to CC them. They don't do anything else. They just CC enemies. The damage is negligible. It does not exist. Doesn't matter how much power strength you put into this build. You tickle enemies. Aqua blades, you cast aqua water blades around you. So you have to get into range of enemies. This ability does not scale off range. You have to get close to enemies for you to tickle them to death. You can eventually kill them if you put a lot of power strength and proc viral on the enemy because it does deal bleed damage. And of course, your fourth ability pulls in enemies and tosses them away. Does it, does it do that much damage to kill enemies? Absolutely not. Is it a great CC tool? No, it just flings enemies up into the air and tosses them and even scatters them. Now, the creme de la creme. Marilena. So yes, it, it, it's, it's a K-Drive. It allows you to summon this little thing that's a K-Drive. Uh, does it do anything else? Uh, you can do some tricks. Granted, this is a very open house it if you take this into a very tight grenier corpus or infested mission oh oh you you you're gonna have a horrible time you're better off just dodge rolling bullet jumping oh yeah did i forget to mention if you go into your operator while you're in marilina 
you get dismounted. Yeah. Titania's Razor Wing does not dismount you when you're in Operator, but this does. And another bad thing about Marilina is that if you are on Marilina, you cannot cast any helmet abilities. You have to get off, cast them beforehand, and then get into Marilina. So this one ability limits your movement and hinders you and limits you because also while in Marilina, you cannot use anything else just your secondary. I, I can't interact with my arsenal. Hold up. What if what, what, what if I what if I go down? Nope, I still can't interact with my arsenal. <sighs> There's a lot of bad things with this Warframe. It's just, it's just so bad. So yeah, this is uh yeah, your rally. Anyway, these are the top five worst Warframes in the game. I mean, there are other frames that need rework and, and so on, but these really, really, really need the utmost attention. And for those who did not like that I put your favorite Warframe in here, doesn't matter, because unfortunately your Warframe sucks. And I'm definitely waiting for the comments that are going to defend these Warframes with the most copium statements in the world. Please. Do, do, do flame me in the comments section down below. But anyway, for those who enjoyed this video and found it informative and also the truth, please feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.